The Network Time Protocol, NTP, is a networking protocol for clock synchronization between computer systems over packet switched. Variable Latency Data Networks, NTP is intended to synchronize all participating computers to within a few milliseconds of Coordinated Universal Time, UTC. However, proper network time synchronization is an essential part of monitoring a network and resolving issues within it. Numerous organizations have network devices that use an internal clock or make use of a public Internet time server. In this video we will learn how to create an NTP server without using any high-level applications. This type of NTP servers you can create at small-scale networks, where user can link more number of devices with NTP server. Best thing for this kind of process, it will not consume more than 5 minutes of user to create an NTP server. So without any ado, let's watch how to create an NTP server in easy way. I have connected a different machine remotely, where we will create NTP server. So we can test the created NTP server is working, or not. On my PC by synchronize, with IP address. Let's jump to remote PC. First thing, user have to stop Windows time service. To do that, go to services. Then search for Windows Time Service. Stop the service by clicking on Stop button, located at left side of the window. Once service is stopped, close this window. Now we have to install a Windows registry, which you can see on the screen. The registry contains information used by Windows and your programs. The registry helps the operating system manage the computer. It helps programs use the computer's resources, and it provides a location for keeping custom settings. Here, this registration entries file will help other PC to fetch time from NTP server. For your convenience, this file download link provided in the description. Do will click on the file to get install. Windows giving a warning as adding information can unintentionally change or delete values and cause components to stop working correctly. If you do not trust the source of this file, do not add it to the registry. But you can trust this file, if you're looking to create an NTP server. To continue the process, click on Yes. Once user clicks on Yes, user will see, the keys, and values contained in the particular folder have been successfully added to the registry. To continue click on OK. Now we have to create firewall rules, as inbound and outbound to define NTP server. To do that, go to Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. Here user have to add inbound rule. To do that click on Inbound Rules, located at left side of the window. Then click on New Rule. New Inbound Rule Wizard will open. Select Rule Type, as Port. Rule, that controls connections for a TCP or UDP ports. To continue click on Next. You've probably seen references to TCP and UDP when setting up port. These two protocols are used for different types of data. Here user have to select UDP. User Datagram Protocol is a communications protocol that is primarily used for establishing low latency and loss tolerating connections between applications on the Internet. It speeds up transmissions by enabling the transfer of data before an agreement is provided by the receiving party. Then select specific local ports and type 123. To continue click on Next. Here user have to select Allow the connection. This includes connections that are protected with IP security as well as those are not. To continue click on Next. Windows Firewall offers three firewall profiles, Domain, Private, and Public. The domain profile applies to networks, where the host system can authenticate to a domain controller. The private profile is a user-assigned profile, and is used to designate private, or home networks. Lastly, the default profile is the public profile, which is used to designate public networks, such as Wi-Fi hotspots, at coffee shops, airports, and other locations. Keep it, as it is. To continue click on Next. Type the name of rule. 
Here I will type NTP server. Then click on finish. Once user clicks on finished, the new rule will be added into the list, as you can see on the screen. Same procedure repeat to add outbound rule. I will speed the video to save time. Once we have added rules, close this window, and go to services, to restart the Windows time service, which we have stopped at the beginning of this video. It's time to test the NTP server, that it synchronized the time, or not. To do that, minimize the remote desktop, and go to time and date settings of PC, which I want to synchronize time, with NTP server. Here click on, add clock for different time zone. Date and time settings wizard will open. Go to internet time. And click on, change settings. Type the IP address of the PC, where NTP server have been created. Then click on, Update Now. As you can see on the screen, the clock was successfully synchronized with given IP. Sometimes, it give error on first time synchronize. Don't worry, click on Update Now button more times, to get synchronized. Hope that you have learned, how to create a NTP server in simple way. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video.